Found some GBA games. No. Yeah. That's fair. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand stores like thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets. I absolutely love collecting this stuff, but I don't want to just hop on eBay and buy it. I like to find the stuff out in the wild, and we are back out again hunting with my boy, old school game collector. He has a YouTube channel. He is mainly on Instagram, uh, but me and him went out the day before and we found this super rare Nintendo CRT TV, guys. It was uh, amazing. He actually picked it up. I'm gonna link it right up here if you wanna check out check out that video, but I actually take him to a flea market as well. He doesn't do a lot of like thrifting, Goodwills, uh, or flea market so i was like man i want to take you to the flea market see if we can't find anything so we head out to one that is in the area that i usually do pretty well at so i'm about to get into that footage but before we do guys if you are new to the channel new to the series and you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia everything from retro games movies toys and more do me a favor and hit that friggin subscribe button guys every single monday and thursday we are coming out with new retro content and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into the hunt. So Arkansas is filled with these types of places. Do you see like these types of places where you're at? No, this is pretty dope, dude. This is like memory lane over here. This freaking Greg Maddox Stadium Club. I just love places like this, dude. I found an entire Sega Master System collection here. For, awesome. for 50 bucks. I freaking love this suitcase. <laughs> hey man, that wreath is for you. That's cute. Come on, dude. That is oh, childhood yeah. all the way. That's incredible. Review master. So do you do you do much with toys? Like, do you collect toys at all? I do not. Oh, come on, dude. Is I bet it? you your YouTube subscribers go up like a thousand. You thousand that's like i don't even know what you have how do you have like 12 yeah i got 12 <laughs> i might have to go from 12 to a thousand you got get, this camera you tell me i'd have a thousand 12 subscribers if i use that <laughs> i gotta get it how much is that thing girls. <laughs> it's so dumb i bet you get a thousand more subscribers if you had this have, dude. Sorry. i will say this booth usually has some games what right here this one they're like just hidden within these DVDs usually. Like, like Just Dance 3? Just Dance 3 and just Connect Dance. Adventures. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but this could quite possibly be in my top 10 favorite movies of all time. Really? I don't know what, yeah. Halloween 1 and 2, the originals are just, I don't know, man. I feel like it's like when movies were really scary, but they weren't gross mm, or gratuitous mm, in their mm. violence. Yeah, I've, never been a, I've never been into horror movies at I, all. I just like old, old ones. Stellar Kart, not to be confused, <laughs> not not to be confused with Mario Kart. Dude, that's a dad joke. So you better put a disclaimer on that too. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. found some games. Atari Tennis. In Kangaroo. The Bait Ls. She's is she in that horror movie you just showed me? Hundred percent, she is. <laughs> that is a that's something. This is quite possibly the scariest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Scarier than that that girl we just saw? <laughs> it looks like friggin' uh, three ninjas. Remember their masks? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Let's moralize. The Fonz. The Fonz hanging out. That's actually out. pretty dope. Dick Tracy. Were you Dick, Dick Tracy fan? Oh, yes. Found a game. Found a game? Disney Infinity. <laughs> so, no, I did not find a game. Beanie Babies were a thing. Oh, dude. Gosh. With the protector on the little tag. How about Teletubbies for the B smile? You know, I'll pass. It's what it's like to do flea market shopping with Retro Rick. 
I don't know why I did a southern accent like that. So deep. Hey, Rick. Hey, hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. I've been, yeah, I've been looking at some of this stuff. Look at that shirt. Come on. <laughs> that is the, oh, dude, I love that. Yes. Love yes. That. Hey. Care Bear Steer. Come on, man. Did you find some games? I know there's games over there. I see them right now, but I'm going to make my way over. Make my way over. You, you know what happened with that Blitz game? What? at the store i literally said "Ooh, i want to get that blitz game and then you came right up behind me and said i'm gonna buy that blitz game is it on camera because i don't believe you 100 percent. okay i want to i want to edit that because i want to it's 100 percent in oh yeah i'm so cheap for 35. you didn't even you didn't even pay 30 for it i, I, I paid 25 for it this is my second favorite Disney movie of all time. I don't care. You're already gonna steal the TV from me, and then you're gonna steal Blitz from me? You can't even give me hey, Blitz? I'm, I'm your guest. Hey, I'm sorry, yeah, you're right. Peach yeah. Dragon is great. I love that movie. When you come to Alabama, I'll let you get the deals. All right, well, I'm getting right in front of you right now to these games. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, uh, Beatles Rock Band, Skylanders, Trap Team. If you find Trap Team for the Xbox One, it's like 40 bucks. Ooh, one lone PS1 game. Nothing. Oh my gosh. But I've been looking for the Twilight series on audiobook for several years. <laughs> I used to always do that at Red Boxes. Like, you'd be at the car and be like, Hey, Josh, they got your favorite movie, Twilight. Ooh. It's the actually Ener pretty cool. The Energizer Bunny. Only a, only a dollar ninety five. Cool. I like him. Oh, that is cool. I loved Mad TV, man. Water damaged. It's cool, though. I love it. This is pretty cool. This is the best food so far. Yeah, G.I. Joe? Yeah, except it's like grosses me out to think how many tomato soups were in there. All right, well now I don't want it. <laughs> I thought it was like the thermos that had oh, yeah, you yeah, put yeah. your soup in all day. Maybe. Or your or your um, hot water and you put hot dogs in there to warm them up. Hot dog flavored water, anybody? That's freaking gross, dude. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. That's the thermos right there. This is for the person who- There's still been, probably some in there. Massively addicted to coffee. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, what's we found? Secret World of Alex Mack. She was a babe, man. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Cool. Welcome to the Space Jam. It's your chance to do that dance at the Space Jam. You have horrible voice. All right, throw your hands in the air. Do you know that whole soundtrack? Oh yeah, I do. Basketball Jones, <laughs> I will cross the ocean for you. So good, dude. Oh, it's great. I believe I can fly. I get hyped, man. Woo! There, uh, there, there's another, there's another version of this movie that has a, um, a, like a pog, a Space Jam coin. Oh, pog. that's cool. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, weird flex, man. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this is where I found the second master system. So. Ooh, I got one for you. Can't wait. I hope you know this. This Ooh, is good. You better call it. This is good. Yes, man. Look at you. Big Bad the Beetleborg. Beetleborg. I remember, this, I remember this toy specifically. You know, sadly, I already have it. So. Of course you do. I do, I already have it. It's in, a box. Like, it's in a box. It's somewhere. in a box in the attic. I wish this chair wasn't so messed up because I love the shape of it. Look at that chair. Cool. Come on, be, be a bunch of rare uh, PS1 RPGs right here. Oh my gosh, I would lose it. Nope, just NSYNC's, yes, NSYNC's celebrity. Is that on that song, the record? I just called it a record. You want to know how you know I'm old? Yeah. I just said a record. I do a pretty good version of Dirty Pop. Sick and tired of hearing all these people talk about. Hey, what's the deal with this? Ooh. $75? dollars they ain't no, they ain't no freaking flea market price. Hey, but that's Soda Stream. You ever use a Soda Stream? <laughs> <laughs> I love my Soda Stream, dude. Get out of here, man. It's so good. You're not yeah. fun.
just an old prescription bottle though. Like a tincture, if you will. <laughs> Gonna snag these. This is amazing. Ooh, cassettes. Where's Space Jam? Is it on there? Tape? No. Um, oh, wait, yeah. I mean, they, they made it on tape. No, I know. Or I cassette. Know. I thought you saw it and I got really pumped. Hey, baby. Don't, don't forget 1994 National Championships. Because hmm. that's where we like to live in the past. It's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. That's like the only YouTube. Man, I know a YouTube reference. Are you proud that's, of me? That's pretty neat. Yeah, my favorite show of all time. Oh, yeah. The old stuff's the, the old stuff's the good stuff. Dude, the first five years of SNL are incredible, though. Found some GBA games. No. Yeah. Are you lying? I swear. Brats in Polly Pocket. <laughs> you are the worst, dude. You are the absolute worst. Hey, man. Those hey, but great. that boss tuner and metronome. Oh, that bring that, that brings me back. I had that. Finishing up the trip at the flea market, and hey, if he's cheap, I'm getting him. Two dollars, heck yes. It got so hot. Yeah, seriously. So a pretty slow day at the flea market. It happens, guys, but we still did pick up one item. I'll get to that here in a minute, but another good opportunity to open up a couple packages from you guys. So here's the thing, guys. I don't ask for you for you to send me things. You just reach out to me on Facebook, on Instagram, and you're like, hey, man, I have this old toy that I had from when I was a kid, and I don't need it, but I think it would go great in your collection. You guys are, are, are amazing, so generous, but I want you guys to know I'm not asking for things. Here's the thing though, I haven't had a P.O. box because I just didn't have one. I was like, I don't really feel like I need to have one. So anytime people ask me about um, sending something uh, over to me, I just have them send it to my work and my work is starting to be like, don't do that anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna open up a P.O. box. There is no pressure um, to send anything, but I just wanted to let you know that that will be how you can uh, send something over, even if it's like a note or, or anything at all, you can send it to that P.O. Box uh, down below. Hopefully I have set one up um, by now, but let's get into these two packages. This first one is from Brad in New York. Nice. I'm actually from, originally from upstate New York, about an hour west of Albany. What do we have in here? It appears to be a troll. I think it's, I think it's a battle troll, y'all. He is awesome. Look at that hair. Let's see if there's a note. There is a note. All right. It says, "Dear Retro, love your content. I get so excited when you post. Your content brings me back and reminds me of the good times as a kid. That is amazing. That is the whole point of the channel. I've been collecting Transformer figures for years, but after I found your content, I've been hitting the flea markets and thrift stores." in an effort to collect the toys that raise me. Guys, can anybody relate to that? I feel the same way. I'm always uh, on the hunt for uh, the toys that I either grew up with or the ones that I wanted. I've also been collecting my childhood game gaming systems. Uh, I found this at a flea market a couple days after your Battle Trolls video and had to get it, get it for you. I even watched your video back to see if this was one of the ones in the lot and was happy to see that it was not. Feel free to open it in an unboxing video or just stick it on the shelf. Either way, I'll be watching Between You and Tendo, awesome channel. Go check out Tendo if you haven't watched him. I get my 90s fix and I appreciate the nostalgia from one of your favorite subscribers, Brad. Brad, thank you so much. Uh, I did not get this one in that lot, so he will go awesome with those other ones. I think I got like five or six Battle Trolls in an episode uh, of a $10 game collection episode. So this is awesome. Thank you so much for this. Next package up is from Brendan in Wyoming. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm sure it is nostalgia and maybe toys. We have, we do have a note here. I'll, I'll, I'll look at this first. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. So I don't know if I've talked about it much yet, but y'all, my son is obsessed with Power Rangers right now. He wakes up and he is like, I'm the blue Power Ranger. I'm the blue Power Ranger, dad, I'm like, Yes, you are. You are the Blue Power Ranger. So I'm gonna watch this with him. I have this on VHS. Uh, I, I know for sure I don't have this version of this movie in this cover art. Let's get to this note. There are, ooh, 
there's games in here. All right, let's see. I love, I love when y'all send notes. This is my favorite part. Uh, hello, I'm waiting. I'm writing you and just want to say I really enjoy your channel and the journey that you go on to find old games and vintage toys from the 80s and the 90s. I do avid hunts myself for old 80s and 90s toys. Uh, I found these Game Boy games and this patch. Okay, I'm getting excited. Along with the Power Rangers DVD and I want to show my thanks to you for all that you do and the wonderful videos you share on your channel. Keep the hunt alive, my friend, Brendan. Really great signature. Brendan has great penmanship. All right, let's get into this, y'all. I'm excited. There's a patch and there's games. I see the patch right off the bat. It is a Ghostbusters patch. That is sick. That, that belongs on a hat at some point. I love that. Love that, Brendan. And then here are a handful of games. Let's see. We have, what is this? Five games. First one is Primal Rage, a classic 90s game. I played this mostly in the arcade and on the Genesis. Uh, I don't have very many Game Boy games, so this is awesome. Here's Jurassic Park, a staple to have in the collection. Here is Dr. Franken. I know I don't have this one. These are all pretty clean too. Uh, down to the fourth one, NBA Jam TE. Come on, y'all. We actually just picked this up on the Sega Saturn. And then Star Trek The Next Generation. Brendan, thank you so much for the Game Boy games. These will all be added to the collection because I really I don't I have very, very few Game Boy Club Game Boy games. So thank you so much for these. And our only pickup from the flea market was this alien, guys, and I love it. I'm getting quite the collection of Toy Story toys. I have Rex, I have Slinky, obviously Buzz, Woody. So this is gonna go awesome on the shelf. He is hefty, man. Like, and I think he was only like, what, a dollar or two bucks? Two bucks, maybe? Awesome. I love this guy. He's gonna go great on the shelf. Always fun uh, to hang out with Josh. Again, go check out his channel and his Instagram if you have not already. As always, thank you guys for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, it helps out tremendously. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.